Hi everyone, I am Karan and welcome to Karan's Gaan. Today I'll be talking about Wipro's quarter 1 result and trust me when I tell you Wipro has posted stellar quarter 1 numbers and it has shut every market analyst up. The market was quite pessimistic about Wipro's quarter results, quarterly results and it was expecting Wipro to only post a profit of Rs 2101 crore. It only expected 2100 crore to be Wipro's profit but Wipro didn't listen to anyone and Wipro posted a profit of 2340 crores. Now you need to understand this. When a company beats the market's expectation, the company would be rewarded. And trust me when I tell you, Wipro would be rewarded tomorrow. In tomorrow's trading session, Wipro would be rewarded by all the investors, all the speculators and all the analysts. And you should expect Wipro to be in green, no matter what the market sentiment is. But nifty sentiment can also play a role in Wipro's uh, share price tomorrow if the sentiment of the economy is poor Wipro might not be able to shine as it would have generally now coming up to Wipro's quarterly results I would discuss Wipro's quarterly results and I would give you my take on Wipro now looking at Wipro's quarterly results of course coronavirus pandemic has affected Wipro and has affected its revenue from operations. The revenue from operations have decreased by about 5%. But yet again, just like Mindtree, Wipro has been able to produce an increase in net profit. This is attributed to its uh, expenditure, uh, its you know control of expenditure. The, ma the management has again controlled the expenditure of Wipro the expenditures have been decreased from about 13,376 crores to 12,470 crores. Now, again, you need to realize, even though the revenue from operations have decreased, the, the net expenses have helped drive up the net profit. Now, just understand this. This is consolidated net profit. I was discussing standalone net profit here. So what I mean by consolidated net profit is it is the net profit of Wipro and its subsidiaries. Now we'll go on to year on year uh, results. We see we'll compare June 2020 uh, to June 2019 quarter one of financial year 21 to quarter one of financial year 20. We see revenue from operations have increased by about 1.34%, a very good sign. Net, net expenses have been decreased. Earnings before um, tax, depreciation and amortization have pretty much been flat. Thus, operating profit is flat and similarly net profit is flat. So, we can say that Wipro has witnessed no growth in the past one year and this is quite understandable we can't blame this on Wipro or its management it is because of the market the market has been poor the industry has been poor and even when the industry has been poor Wipro has managed to stay on flat Wipro has managed to stay on the right side of the game we can assume that of course Wipro can do much 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 better if the market uh, you know uh, increases the market comes to a better side if, if the industry doesn't face a downturn anymore. So when the misery of the industry ends, we can expect Wipro to ramp up its business and ramp up its profits uh, you know, drastically and thus reward us as shareholders of Wipro. Now looking at the segment revenue. So uh, segment revenue have pretty much been flat. I won't say that any segment has gone up or down drastically BFS, BFSI stands for banking financial services and insurance so BFSI has been flat health BU health is health business unit so health business units have also been flat they've you know they've gone up and then they have come down I would say they've pretty much been flat CBU stands for consumer business unit so consumer business unit uh, seems to have taken a 10% hit from the last quarter and this can be attributed or this can be blamed on the downturn in businesses that we have seen. ENU has picked up or I would say it has stayed flat. ENU basically stands for energy, natural resources and utilities. So ENU business, ENU segment for Wipro is flat. 
even tech technologies technology services technology segment is flat manufacturing segment is also flat but what has taken a hit consistently is communication sector and uh, i can't single out any one reason that would have caused such a drastic drop in communication sector but uh, let me do my research and come back to you if there is some significant news behind it now like i'll go to key takeaways um, the company's ebit inter, uh, earnings before interest and tax have improved to 19.1% against 17.6% in the previous quarter and 18.4% last year so its earnings before interest and tax have increased the margin has increased which is a good sign Wipro is also trying to increase its presence in South America. It is, it has acquired a Brazil-based Avia Servicos de Informatica Limited for about two hundred and twenty-four million. So it is trying to uh, increase its presence in countries that is pretty much untapped for them right now, and this shows that the management is willing to go to countries where this business hasn't been explored and maybe come up in emerging markets apart from India and apart from markets that they have already set up in. Now looking at the shareholding snapshot, I see uh, promoters have about 74% stake in Wipro. There are no pledged promoter holdings, very good sign insurance, insurance, uh, sorry, mutual funds have about 1.42% stake, insurance companies have 4.88% stake. Foreign institutional investors have 8.45% stake and the rest of us, the non-institutional or the general public, I would say, have 10.5% stake. I would say the quality of this company is good. Wipro is a good company. It's a solid company with solid fundamentals. Talking about the valuation, I think the valuation at current levels is really attractive. Uh, let me show you the valuation the price of wipro so wipro fell down one percent today this was before result so result came out after the market shut down so the market is yet to react to wipro's result but because the market sentiment was poor today wipro fell one percent today 1.1 percent and 225 rupees it's a good price for wipro it's uh 225 rupees it's nice you can um put some exposure in Wipro and Wipro can give you good results. It has a decent dividend track record and a decent dividend yield. Now I would say since it is 225 rupees, it comes between the range of 159 and 284. Hence this is attractive. So the current valuations are attractive. If it falls below 157, it is a very attractive share. It will be fair once it crosses 287 rupee mark. So it will have a fair valuation between 287 and 348. Uh, so guys this is pretty much it uh, and this is my take on Wipro's quarter 1 resu results. Wipro has given excellent quarter 1 results and um, look forward to get an exposure in Wipro. Uh, in, if I talk about long term perspective Wipro is a very 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 good stock in a, for a perspective of 10 to 20 years. And even if I say five years, it is a very good stock. It pays good dividend and you, you can see significant gains of your capital that you invested in Wipro. So guys, like I said, this is my take on Wipro. Please do your due diligence before investing in Wipro so that you are satisfied and you don't get sleepless nights if you see uh, Wipro share falling. And uh, this is it. Have a nice day. Thank you.